Hello, I am Mohammad Hanif. We are here today to attend the summit related to supply chain organized by Terabis under the umbrella of Supply Chain Association of Pakistan. We have with us Dr. John, a highly recognized professional and we can call it in our language guru in supply chain management and he is uh, imparting that knowledge of his core model, SNOP and risk in supply chain management not only in Asia Pacific to greater extent in China, Europe and other parts. His company's headquarters is uh, located in Singapore but he has a network of clusters of companies to control Europe, China and Asia Pacific division. We welcome him, Dr. John, for coming to Pakistan and I understand this is your second visit. With Terabis, yes. With it's my, se my second visit. My first visit in Pakistan was in 2002 mm -hmm. with uh, Pakistan Tobacco Company. How did you Islam find Bad. the atmosphere over here in Pakistan related to such a good profession like supply chain? Well, the country himself have a challenge the way that is defined because it's quite long. If you see Karachi to uh, Islamabad and uh, to the frontier with Afghanistan or if it, uh, with, uh, with China or in India, it's quite long. So then you need to distribute the product if you have a national coverage. You cannot just leave uh, uh, focus on the south of the country or in the middle of the country. You need to be everywhere as a businessman. So this creates a challenge. Uh, the way that uh, the country configuration. Yeah. You had with various corporate uh, managers, seniors, directors, and I understand that you have also organized a couple of programs in-house with some of the big corporate house in Pakistan. How do you compare Pakistani corporates with the corporates in China and other part of the world? For the moment, I think Pakistan still have to catch up. And this is what I will say. Uh, the people are highly skilled and focused. Um, this is what I can say. So, therefore, the potential is there. You just need to be developed and enhanced. And I think this is the work that you guys are doing uh, through the Supply Chain Association and Logistics of Pakistan now. Okay, uh, organizing conferences, bringing people together, giving training, putting the curriculum to the university. And then companies start to understand that uh, one of the differentiation factors there will be a proper professional uh, supply chain organization and implementation of the best practices in the organization. Since you have visited in this country for three times, have you have already mentioned for certain professional engagement in conducting the workshop, uh, conducting the summits, creating an awareness among the people in Pakistan that supply chain is now regarded as an alternate advantage to have a market share with the right product, right time, right place, right pricing. What do you think that the level of professionalism you have noticed in this country? Because uh, you met with many people. Mm -hmm. um, I won an award with uh, Pakistan Tobacco Company. What is yes, a worldwide sir. award in 2005 for supply chain excellence. So my relationship with my friends, uh, Pakistanis, uh, is quite special. Uh, we have high land of expertise in the country, this is what we say. We have some companies who are too advanced, they don't need to uh, be frustrated or to be shamed uh, compared to what is happening in some other area. And then in the other extreme part, we have some people who are still uh, in the earlier stage of embracing. But I think what we have in the association to do is to try to close the gap, to make sure that we have a majority of a company in the middle okay to support the advanced one in any economy you always have the top flyers what we call best in class company in, in benchmarking language but what i can say in pakistan the gap is too wide between the best in class company and then uh, the earliest uh, laggers uh, that are coming now embracing just supply chain now and an association i think we need to make sure that we close the gap but you find everything here you have very good company here and they're exporting the quality product but as we can say as an economy we need more and more of those companies yes so what means that we have to pull all those small companies we was talking about from small company to medium-sized company from medium sized company to big corporation this should be the strategy of the association 
Uh, if some company want to implement this core model mm -hmm. as one of their enterprising support mm -hmm. over and above the enterprise model they have in ERP, mm -hmm. how you will really start in this company? How you, what you will suggest from where the company should go? Um, okay, what we do, because the module requires structure, uh, we do the force assessment of the organization to understand where they stand. And then we will go to, with the company management to what we call the 2B design. So to design their future supply chain. And also what force the management to tell us what are the objectives? Where do they want to head? You know, is it just cost reduction? Is it just customer market share they want to get? Is it just asset utilization inside the company? Uh, what is their strategy? Where do they want to head? So from there, then we design a new supply chain and make sure that we start to implement it uh, piece by piece. Okay, this is what we advise company to do. What do you suggest to Pakistani entrepreneur if they have a supply chain management in place in this organization, where they can keep that department in directly reporting to the board of director or should be responsible for some operation or finance or any other department? Um, we follow something we call the maturity model. Maturity model. The maturity model address the integration of the suppliers, the integration of the customer, but also the integration of the department inside the organization. So there are some stages. Based on those stages of integration inside the company, we will suggest a type of supply chain organization that you should have. It will also be the size of the company. If you are a billion or multi-billion dollar company, okay, you have a VP, senior VP, type of organization. You have the directors, you have the managers, the department managers, you have team managers, and so on. So. It follow different type of granularity. Of course, then you will have a VP of supply chain um, that is equivalent of VP of sourcing. Mm -hmm. But if you are in a small and medium enterprise, you probably don't need that. Yeah. And or a simple director of supply chain or a supply chain manager who is looking at uh, the activities or the processes uh, that you have defined in the scope of your supply chain will be enough. Most of the advanced countries of the world are looking for very good business process outsource sites. Mm -hmm. We have India, we have a China. What potential you see in Pakistan that some of the foreign companies of Europe and America can source the product from Pakistan and even about the system as well? Well, the potential is there. Um, the, what I was saying, I have been working with uh, my colleague Pakistanis since I was in the university, actually in the US. Uh, I was connected with Pakistanis friends. Um, they are very clever people. Um, compared to what we can find as average in uh, Asia Pacific or in Southeast Asia. Um, some of them have a very strong mathematical skill, what allow them to be very open in terms of analysis. It prepare them to understand 